Hi, this is Linda. Mayor Bloomberg says the interpretation of the Constitution will have to change after the Boston bombings. This isn't the Bible or religious talk, a doctrine that you could probably interpret personally any way you want. These words were written so that they meant something. And I'm talking about the pre-1871 Constitution, not the corporate Constitution after the Act of 1871. Um, so our founding fathers wrote something that is set in stone. There's no interpretation. No one can say anything about it. It is worded so perfectly. And he's going to say that we're going to have to interpret it differently because um, he believes that we the people want more security and less freedom. We want our houses. Uh, we want soldiers to barge in our houses and look around and look in our closets and refrigerators and stuff because, you know, you're now guilty until proven innocent. I also wanted to tell you, we need to have the, re we need to repeal the act of 1871 and I'm going to put the links there, but also we need to repeal the 14th amendment. And, um, there's a couple of reasons, but, um, it deals with section one and there's a grassroots effort going with section one. All persons born or natu naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny any person within its jurisdiction the equal protections of the law. Now, the issue with Section 1, which is going around, this came in an email, is ask yourself why there needs to be, why, why do we need to have a constitutional amendment for state citizenship? Hmm? Look closer. Our citizens of the United States, America is 50 separate republics. You are a sovereign citizen of the republic of the state you are born or reside in. A citizen of the United States actually means a citizen of the United States government or the corporation. Sovereign citizens are protected by the U.S. Constitution. Citizens of the government are not because it is a corporate entity, which makes you a corporation also, and they're not going to protect you. This is why they can tax you, the dummy corporation created when you were born. Now, a lot of people are, are trying to get a grassroots movement together to have it repealed, the 14th Amendment uh, repealed. And I agree with that. I think everyone should write or phone um, their senators and their congresspeople right away and say, absolutely, the Act of 1871 has got to be repealed, and so does the 14th Amendment. I'm going to link both of these amendments up and let you read them. Um, because if you don't, this empire is going to have their way with us. And as Mayor Bloomberg said, it seems we need to change the interpretation of the Constitution. Well, I, I have one thing. I have this little gimmick over this. This is what I think of Mayor Bloomberg. Peace, love, no fear.